Hi everyone, it's the counselors from Edgewood High School. Today we want to take a minute to explain the scheduling for the 2021-2022 school year. First, I want to explain the graduation requirements for the class of 2021 and 2022. First, students must earn 21 credits. The credits that they need to earn are listed here for you. And if you have more questions about those, please refer to the graduation pathways video. Next, the second part of graduation is the 18 air points. Students need to earn these across seven tests, including Algebra 1, Geometry, ELA 1, ELA 2, Biology, American History, and Government. For the students of class of 2023 and beyond, the requirements have changed a little bit. Students are still required to take 21 credits, but now they only have two state tests that they need to be competent on. This includes Algebra 1 and ELA 2. So what should students consider when picking courses for next school year? First, graduation requirements. Students should select classes that are still needed to meet the graduation requirements. Second, future plans should be considered. When students are choosing classes, they should think about their future career plans and specific interests. Students should also discuss course options with teachers, counselors, and parents who can help guide and direct them. Before counselors meet with students to register them for the next school year, there are a few things you can do to help prepare your student. First, you can refer to the grade level course offering sheet to see a full list of courses. Students will receive this in February. Next, you can access the EHS registration guide to assist with completing the registration form. When this is available, it will be, be, it will be posted on the website and we will announce that to families. Another thing you can do is download the EHS official registration book to read more about what classes are and if there are any fees associated with that class. Here's the registration timeline for next school year. From February 8th through 12th, the counselors will be in the English classes to give them a presentation to explain how registration is going to go. We will also answer any questions for students then. Next, February 16th through 19th, the students will meet with the counselors in their English classes again for online registration. During the week of March 1st through 5th, counselors will meet with the remote students during their math classes to register them for the next school year. Here's an example high school schedule. We are going to have eight periods in the day. There are three lunch periods. And if you are a freshman or sophomore, you will have at least one study hall. If you are a junior or senior, you can have one late arrival or early dismissal. We will explain this more to students when we register them. This is an example for a junior. They would have Algebra 2 as their math course, English 11, Chemistry, Government. They may take a PE course, Spanish 3, and ROTC. There are a variety of classes for students to take. The biggest thing to remember is to make sure that you are meeting all of the graduation requirements by the end of your senior year. This is an example of the form that high school students will use to register for courses. The form is listed in three steps. Step one, the student will list the course name and the code for each class. Students remember that you will need to have discussions with your teachers if you choose an AP or an honors level class. Step two, students should record their alternate elective choices. These alternate elective choices could be placed in your student's schedule if their first choice electives are not an option for that school year. Step three, we are asking for parents to also be a part of this process. We know that your input is valuable in your student's course selection. So we are asking that all parents sign their student's registration form after discussing the class choices with them. Thank you for joining us for our presentation. The counselors are looking forward to meeting with your students and helping ensure academic success here at Edgewood High School. If you have any questions, please reach out to your student's counselor at any time. Thank you.